Hello everyone. Today I'm going to review the Tap Air Portugal's business class flight from Lisbon to New York. As I was returning to the U.S., the first thing to do was to process all my tax refunds properly. Lisbon International Airport has a streamlined process to make life really easy for travelers. You would first need to get all the luggage tags at the TAP Airlines check-in area. Still hold on to your luggages and go to a dedicated tax-free counter where they would inspect the products you claim for a tax refund and stamp the forms. You could then drop off your luggages there. After that, you can go to the custom through the fast track lane. After entering the post security area, first but foremost, get your refund with the receipts and stamps. Here you would be able to choose either get the refund by cash or by credit card. My suggestion is to always get cash in local currency. Otherwise, the delays to actually receive your refund could get unpredictable. After getting the tax refund taken care of, I went to the Tap Premium Lounge to enjoy some food, and to my surprise, I was able to get nata in this lounge. The flight from Lisbon to Newark Airport takes a total of eight hours and twenty minutes. The type of our aircraft is Airbus A three two one LR. LR here means long range. The size of the flight is on the smaller end. The cabin is laid out in a two two and one one configuration. For even number rows, they are equipped with two throne seats each. Those are much more spacious. I strongly recommend you select your throne seat ahead of time. It's totally free of charge, and I was fortunately able to get hold of it. On the long haul flights, Tap provides a nice amenity kit that artistically depicts the skylines of different cities. My husband got one from Barcelona, while I got one from my home city, San Francisco. The benefit of the third seat is that you really get a lot of space. You have a large area on both sides. On the window side, there was a literature pocket and enough space to place your backpack and other stuff. I didn't have to use the overhead bin. On the aisle side, you will find a reading light, which is in addition to the reading light at the top. The remote control. Noise canceling headphone and a bottle of water. There was also a super spacious storage cubby. You could also find a universal socket, another literature pocket, and seat control on this side. The table was nice and big, and the design was very space efficient. In the front, there was a storage pocket under the screen. The footwell wasn't huge, but good enough for me. There was another light in the footwell area. The entertainment screen came in a nice size, and the selection of movies was pretty good. It provided free messaging service, but expensive Wi-Fi options.
two meals were served on this flight. One was the dinner shortly after taking off. The other was a light meal before landing. The dinner was a standard three-course meal. It was delicious, but I was disappointed that they didn't serve nata as dessert. After enjoying the meal, I went to sleep. The throne seat again provided lots of space and privacy. It really helped a lot to get a good sleep. It is interesting that the flight to the Newark International Airport took a big detour. Maybe it was trying to avoid all the skyscrapers. Overall, I had a great time taking the throne seat from Portugal Tap Airline. I have seen such seats on other airlines like Singapore Airlines as well. The seat was definitely great, but it seems not very space efficient. What other examples of throne seats do you know of? Which airlines have you flown with in similar configuration? I would love to hear from you. Feel free to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel to follow my travel journey and tips. See you next time.